if you're driving in a Toyota motor vehicle and see a check engine light, this could be a serious problem. The system monitor may also indicate that you need to check your all-wheel drive system. If you do not have a scan tool, you can take a car to an auto store such as AutoZone or O'Reilly and they will check it free for you and tell you what the problem is. In my case, I have a Bluetooth OBD2 scanner. I purchased this scanner on Amazon and I will put a link in the description below. In my case, I got code P0012. It's a camshaft position sensor. When you go to AutoZone or O'Reilly to have your car scanned, the scan tool may show you bank A or bank B or bank 1 or bank 2. So it depending on the scan tool that they use. Different manufacturers use number while others use letter. So it could be bank A or bank 1. That is the cylinder head that is closer to the frame of the car. It's not a wise move to start with the sensor because the sensor might not be the problem. You first want to check your wiring to see if the wiring is good. If after checking the wiring, the wiring looks good, you need to check your oil and filter. If you recently change your oil and filter, it means that your oil might be clean. Check if it's at the correct level. If your oil is clean, your filter is clean and it is at the correct level, you can rule those out. Now you can focus on your sensor. You can purchase a OEM sensor from a Toyota dealer. I will put a link in the description below of the dealer I purchased my sensor from. If after you install a sensor, you still get that check engine light, then this problem might be bigger than you. That's when you need to take it in to a qualified auto electrician. But in my case, I fixed my problem successfully and I will show you what I did. When you open the hood of your car, you're gonna see many wires, many sensors. It might not be clear as to where is your camshaft position sensor. Because in my case, I'm looking for the intake on bank one. That's the sensor I'm looking for. So I will be going through the different sections of the engine so that you'll be able to identify which sensor you're looking for. The engine cover is held by three clips. So this is a 2014 Toyota Highlander with a V6 engine. It means that it has two cylinder head, one at the front and one at the back right there. So the engine is in a V shape, just like that. So, th so the back side is actually bank one and the front side is bank two so the back side is bank one the front side is bank two in the middle of the engine that's where the fuel rail is and that's where you can find the injectors so you have one two three injectors right there and you have three on the other side too but it's hidden by the intake manifold so it actually has two exhausts one at the front and one at the back and it also has two intakes so it has two intakes two exhausts so to be guided as to where you will find the intake and the exhaust the intake is always closest to the fuel manifold or where you find the injectors so right there is the intake camshaft position sensor for bank 2 so bank 2 is actually at the front of the engine while bank 1 is actually closer to the body of the car So that's the exhaust camshaft position sensor right there and the one to the left which is closer to the fuel injectors is the intake camshaft position sensor. So you have two more of these sensors in the back. One of them is visible. So you have the intake camshaft position sensor right there. As you can see, it's closer to the injectors or to the intake manifold. So as you can see right there, that is the 
that is a camshaft position sensor for bank one bank one is closer to the engine that's where you find cylinder one the exhaust camshaft position sensor is hidden by that intake manifold so if you need to remove the exhaust camshaft position sensor you will need to remove the intake manifold so lucky for me my code gave me p0012 which is for the intake i have access to the intake right there and i will be replacing that sensor If I had to change the exhaust, I will have to remove the intake manifold. My plan is to try and use these pliers to remove the wire harness from the sensor because sometimes it's difficult to remove. But I tried it with my hand and luckily I was able to get it off without using a pliers. So I'm just inspecting the wires again to see if they're okay. And the wires are fine so now I'm gonna attempt to remove the camshaft position sensor it's very easy you just need the one 10 millimeter socket and you can get it out easily but I'm actually using a 10 inch wrench So after I crack it loose with the wrench, I was able to use my fingers to take the bolt out, as you can see right there. So this is the 10 millimeter bolt. Now I'm gonna twist and pull to get the sensor out. So this is the bad camshaft position sensor and I will be replacing this sensor with an OEM sensor that I bought from a Toyota dealer. So this is the OEM sensor from the package that it came in and I compared the two and they are pretty much the same. So after I've done my inspection. I will apply a little of the engine oil from the old camshaft position sensor to lubricate that rubber o-ring that would keep oil from spilling so that it slide in easily. So now it's back in, I just need to reinstall the 10 millimeter bolt right here and just tighten it until it's snug you don't need to over tighten this after i tighten the bolt i now reattach the wire harness now it's the time to clear the check engine light and wait again to see if the problem is solved but i'm not going to do that i am going to leave the check engine light on to see if the computer picks up that the sensor is no good and after I did that I drove for about seven minutes and the check engine light was gone just seven minutes so that confirms that the problem was the camshaft position sensor so again before jumping ahead and just change your sensor when you get a check engine light you should follow the steps of checking your wire harness check your oil and filter if those are fine you can then think about changing your sensor because all those are cheap if those are not the problem it's it might be an expensive job and you and you will definitely need to take it into the professionals 